The first step to use the GPS bait bolt is to turn on the power of bolt and the remote control. Try the propeller if work after see the LED light on. We must drive the boat to a distance of 5 to 10 meters from the shore to do a calibration. This is a must require step every time you use. The method of calibration is press two buttons, OK button and upper left corner a button at the same time on remote control. The boat will auto turn forward one circle. Reverse one circle and stop the remote control will sound bleep and echo M appears on the display which shows that the GPS calibration has been set. Why should the boat need to be calibrated? Because when it is not calibrated, when it drives, it can't recognize the direction and will run off the track. When you use it, once you find a deviation track, you should recalibrate. Now that the calibration is completed, we can start the normal operation and drop the boat back to the shore. Let's set an origin and a GPS position you must require to set an original position. If you do not set the origin, it will not return automatically when the power is low or the connection is lost. How to set up? Press the OK button and the number button E at the same time. The character E shows that the original position on the LCD screen. OK, we are now driving the boat out and set up a customized GPS position. When the boat is driving forward, the two joysticks push to the front. Press the B key in the upper right corner of the remote control. Now the boat is cruising at a fixed speed. If we want to cancel, we can press the B button to cancel all operations, including the cruise at a fixed speed. Now press the B button, it has been cancelled, and we are there now to set up a customized GPS position. Press the button Armio and OK button. Now the customized GPS position is complete. Let us demonstrate and let it return to the original position. Back to the first home position, we only need to press the No E button and the boat will automatically return. Now we can look at the number displayed on the LCD display. It is the boat distance to the original position. The boat will stop at 1 to 2 meters before it drives back to the position. OK, let us take a look at the distance display first. It stops at 2 meters and 1 meter. Now it is back to the original position. Only button 1 that can be used as the original position. When you lose the connection or you want the low battery, it will only return to the number 1 point. So don't set it wrong. We have 4 customized points on one page. Now set the number 3, set the number 4, 4 positions are all set. After that, if we want to set other more position, we press the left and the right buttons. This is the page switch. Here, the bow screen. The bow is the first page. Turn it over to display the second page. The second page is empty. We can also set it like the first page, and so on. After positioning, it will show that number. After set up the customized position, we just need to press the button. The boat will automatically drive to related position. Like to the second position, press on the number R button. It will automatically drive to the second position. The number will flash in indicating which angle position it is going to. Now look at the distance. 三, 二, 一, and the boat will stop when it has reached the anchor point. That's all for the positioning operation. There is another function, which is that we are now simulating. Once the ship detects no signal or low power, it will automatically return to original position the number E customized position. Now turn off the remote control. It will be detected that it has lost connection and it will return to first position we just set. Now turn off the remote control, and then boat will return to first position about 30 seconds after detect loss of connection.
The boat is almost to the shore. The remote control is not turned on. Turn on the remote control. He can receive his signal again. The distance is zero. It indicates that the boat has returned to the shore. The customized GPS position supports 16.4 pages and 4.1 page. We can long press the OK button to clear all its positioning points. This can be re-operated, and all the positioning points are removed. When we do not use the boat, we must turn off both the remote control and the boat. If you turn off the remote control only, you will find the propeller on the boat will continue rotating because it has to detect its remote control before it stops.